identity. Google defines it as the characteristics determining who or what a person or thing is. My AP Psychology textbook would define it as the stage that teenagers go through when they're exploring their independence and also forming their own sense of self. Now, this is a really fancy way of saying that teenagers tend to test out their personalities and try to act differently to see what works best for them. One part of that would be self-worth. And that is what makes us unique, worthy, and different from everyone else. When I was little, I was very confused with my self-worth. Who was I as Anishka? Am I defined by my grades, my looks and personality, or even my culture? I found that this wasn't the only case with me growing up. Every single kid has a struggle who's trying to find their identity as they get older. They're trying to find out their interests, their passions, and even who to be friends with. A huge factor of that would be environmental influences. So that means some teenagers may adopt their parental values early on and others of a particular peer group. All in all, children will be trying to change themselves to fit in, but there is a problem with that. Sometimes we try to fit in too much. We try to put so much pressure on ourselves to conform to everyone else that we collapse. During around late middle school or early high school, I was constantly stressed about my, about my self-worth and I would be determining it based off of my grades and what I was good at. If I was not good at something that everyone else was good at, I would enter times where I would get so frustrated. I would be disappointed about why I wasn't as good as this person at a hobby or why my grades weren't as high as this other person's. And some questions that many people constantly ask ourselves are, why couldn't I get better grades when they are the best of it? Why am I not as good as them at something? How could they get so successful when all I could do is this? We still occasionally still ask ourselves these questions. When I was little, I would constantly get asked insulting and strange questions about my culture. And I wouldn't utter a single word as I laughed along and pretended to take, as, as I laughed along and they pretended to make fun of who I was. To be fair, they were just children. And as children, we didn't know better on how to respectfully ask questions. I would start to hide myself. I would lie about my family's traditions, what I stood for, and even what I ate. I got so accustomed to it that when I went back to India for the summer vacations, my hometown would be so foreign and I would feel like an outsider. Now, because I'm Indian, I used my culture as an example, but I have noticed that many kids find it hard to fit in just because of the lack of cultural awareness and of course, their own identity. I went from overthinking and caring too much to realizing that in the end, my self-worth is not based on my grades or how much I'm like other people. And to be completely honest, it took me forever to realize this and I'm still obviously not perfect. Now, during the later years of my high school, again, I started to realize it doesn't matter what they're doing as long as I'm showing growth as an individual. After all, this is what makes me unique and this is what makes me different. Kids don't need the extra pressure of unhealthily comparing themselves to others as growing up is hard enough. We have all of these academic pressures that schools put onto us to get good grades, maintain after school activities and even have a social life. My identity isn't something that you could label into one sentence but it's a combination of a multitude of factors weaved into each other. As Anishka, I could be my cultures, my passion, my personality. I could be all of those things or none of those things at all. I could be something completely different than what I perceive myself to be. But the important part is I stopped comparing myself to others and I started embracing myself. Now, if I could change one thing about my childhood is that I should have realized this way sooner. I should have not cared about every single part of people's opinions or expectations in early high and middle school. But of course, I cannot change the past. So all I can do is stay true to myself as I'm experiencing the challenging world. Thank you.